long time no see. Uh, it's been a while. I think it was November the last time I recorded. Anyway, before I go on, I'm Helen, also known as Orange Maid on Ravelry and everywhere else basically on Sprite 966. Um, <laughs> I've got no show notes, no nothing. Um, basically, I wasn't sure I was going to record again, but do you know, I've watched that many new new to me podcasts and, and I th keep thinking to myself, oh, I can't get nothing compared to these people, you know, and this, that, and the next And I thought, well, this is really for me, and people watch me or they don't. Some people understand me <laughs> and some people don't. And I've got to be honest, I think there is a bit lacking in the Scottish podcasters. Where are you people? I can't be the only person. There's got to be better people out there than me to sit and record for Scotland. But anyway, hey ho. Anyway, what's happened to me since, for people that know me, in December my mum passed away. Um, which was very sudden. She went into the hospital on the Tuesday, the 15th of December, and she <clears throat> passed on the 17th uh, pneumonia in our kidneys field and then septicemia. But anyway, I, I just thought I'd bring some photos uh, to show you. I've got this kind of new wee photo frame, and that's my mum, my mum and dad. So. She's home, well, she got cremated, and she's home, um, I'll put that in the other now, um, and well, she's sitting on top of the bookcase for a wee while, well it's basically DVDs in it, the bookcase, the bookcase is out in the hall, but um, I, I, it was quite kind of, still kind of, some days it's just kind of, oh my god, Really? It's not coming back. And I'm, that's what I was saying to some people there, I miss her voice more than it. I can see her face everywhere I go, but her voice, I, I can't hear her voice. But anyway, moving on. Um, my circumstances obviously have changed. I'm not working at the moment. Um, my doctor's just gave me a line to stop me from getting sanctioned in case I can't find a job. and. Give me another few weeks to get my head together and I oh changes changes galore. Well and then I, f I got my divorce papers through, I get divorced actually the day before my mum died. Uh, so I've been divorced since the 16th of December. So that was good news. Um, I turned 50 on the 9th of February, which I didn't really celebrate because my mum's birthday would have been on the 5th. And it was a bit still, you know, it was only two months yesterday that it happened. But it's been my knitting that's kept me, me kept me going. So I've been knitting and knitting and knitting. Um, I don't really talk in a lot of places. I've still got some photographs to put up that have me. Like this hat, I, I'll just show you my finished objects first. Um, I finished this hat, I think probably end of December. And I, I, I love it. I've never, I've not even blocked it. I just keep wearing it. I've not washed it or anything, so it will probably grow a wee bit. But that's um, one of the tea collection by Claire Devine. I'll try and remember to put links and things, or if if you want to find out anything, you can ask me. Um, but I've got the page up. I just haven't got a photograph. I'll probably get a photograph in today. Oh, and this was Mum's chair, so that's how you see a different chair here. Um, so that be weird and all of it. I'll get a wee. So, got that hat, and then I've got this hat that is one of Daniela's, the Gaffney de Gert, and I've done it in my hand spun, and that's the Looney Friends, and. I just, I love it, I love it, I don't know, it was maybe for socks, but I think it's just a wee bit thick for socks, 
And um, this is the LC. So that's my two hats. I'd start at another one, hands one, but uh, I changed it because it was a bit kind of rough. Um, I finished my handbrake cowl and I added the extra length because I just wanted to use it up as much as the wall. And this is Swan Island and it was metal yarns that were doing it, but they stopped. Stop doing Swan Island, so I don't know if there's anywhere in the UK you can get Swan Island, but oh my god, it's lovely. Mm -mm -mm. And again, my colours. So as I say, I just added a wee bit extra length to the bottom or top, whatever, but you can have it upside down if you want. But that's uh, by Dan and Kay Jones. Uh, I think it's Dan's pattern, but Kay helped him for the bakery bears. And that goes towards cancer research, and of course I got that because that was part of mum's downfall was she got cancer a few years, a couple of years ago. But that's not what ended her life. Um, it was behaving itself, so anyway, so if you can support that, uh, go buy the pattern, gift it to people. Um, and it's it's lovely. I had, I had sit, that much sitting for ages and I just didn't wouldn't do it, so... Anyway, that's a handbrake kill. Then, when the Hohe Locatelli three colour cashmere kill came out last year, uh, I bought it straight away and I was like, oh, I need to get that and that, I need to knit it. And it, like everything else, you know, when you start all these projects, and I had got up to this part done, and now this is done in dye for yarn. Let's get silken, some kind of contents in it. Um, and this is the, the natural dye studio, and that's just silk, I think. And then that's Ginger Twist Studios, I had bought that when I was up at Queen of Pearls. And I absolutely adore it. So the three colour cashmere shawl came out, didn't it? Well, I had to get it. So that, I think somebody's got to be doing a knit along with that. This, I, I think they said they were going to do a knit along, but I don't know if they will. Um, but anyway, I'll put this one, let you see it. But it's, oh, it's, and as I see, you can have that with the stripes showing, or the orange, you know, I'm looking in my, laptop screen <laughs> um, but oh it's lovely so that's finished I frogged quite a few projects that I hadn't seen the light of day for a year and I thought no I'm not going to do that these are my January socks these are the socks I cast on for January these are um, in the Picks Felice in the Baker Street colourway and the socks are Baskerville socks, so how do the Baskervilles, you know, Sherlock Holmes, the Brit Actors Cal, um, in the UK Sock Knitters group. But I just, I didn't do the pattern on the foot, because I, I, I really wasn't, I, I had changed, you can see I was starting to put that wee line down, and then I thought, nah, so I've never done it in the setting sock. But anyway, love them, they're for me, Baker Street colour, everybody's giving it to their men and husband, no, 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 for me, um, so I can wear them now that I've showed you them. And these, this was a cowl, and I ripped it out. This was Student Knits colourway by Countess Ablaze for Claire of the Students Knit podcast. I don't think she's podcasting anymore. Um, and she got that colourway done. And I was on, I'm not very good in VKNs, I've got to be honest, but I was speaking to Melissa, Mel Trans Designs, and Claire. And somebody else, a couple of years ago, gosh, definitely a couple of years ago. And I found it, you know, just soft enough for my neck, because I've got such baby skin, you know. Um, well, we're supposed to have lit highs, like elephants up here in Scotland, but I, I'm afraid not. <laughs> Princess the pea here. But, um, so I thought, no, I can't wear it next to my neck. So rather than giving it away, because I love the colourway, I turned them into monkey socks. So, I'm quite happy with them. That, that was like the third pair of monkeys for last year and, and that other two pairs. So, that's them. Um, my work's in progress. My blankets. Oh, I'll show you my socks first of all. 
This is my February soaps. And these are Knit Picks Fleecing the Rainbow colour. And I'm doing them two at a time. And they're in my puffing bag because obviously the rainbow colours, you know, red, orange, blue. Well, so anyway, and I think it quite matches. And that's Knit Run Dig, Sam. Um, so I'm doing, and I hate toe-up socks. Hate toe-up socks. I just don't enjoy them at all. Um, this is the first time I've done this. is a Wendy D. Johnson pattern. And it's Brucey Lucy and it's for the Brit Cat Actors Cal as well. And it's Helena Bonham Carter played Lucy Honeychurch in Room With A View. So, and at there for the rainbow along with the Suburban Stitchers doing. And I didn't want them to start in the same place. Um, well, I forgot to say, the Baker Street yarn, I bought this one because Knit Picks is now sending to the UK. Um, but um, it was my friend Kate, uh, Comfrey Queen. One, is it Comfrey Queen? One? Kate from New York sent me loads last year. I, I remember podcasting about it. So, and she's, well, I don't know if I should be saying. She's opening a bag shop. Yes, as soon as possible. I've not heard back for a wee while, but um, hopefully soon. Um, so I'm quite pleased with these. I like the pattern. It's quick. I made a mistake because I stopped there. Yeah. So it's a wee bit shorter that pattern to that one. So I'll just do an extra two rows of the cuff in this one, and it will. But anyway, so they're coming along nicely, and I love the knit picks, Felice. I don't know if they're really that hard wearing, but... So that's my rainbow long Brit Actor Cal February socks. So please with them, they're coming on nicely. And then my mum had this ball, my mum always wanted a fancy ball of yarn. So I bought her a fancy ball of yarn, oh, middle of last year sometime. And I got her the three Irish girls, and this is in the colour with Supernova. And I caked it up for her and everything and she just never knit with it. I will get into one day, you know, she would say. And so I wanted to knit something that I'd mean it, and I was going to knit this last year, and it's the, the Knit Girls Leslie's pattern, Georgia on my mind, and that's for her friend who's passed. And um, I, I'd started with the colony at Jitterbug, but I found it just a wee bit too thick. So I'm turning that into something totally different. I had done it in the hat and it was coming out the way I wanted it so I think I've got a pattern for that. Um, so, ah, this is Georgia on my mind in the Supernova way, Supernova colourway by, excuse me, see uh, Irish girls, uh, to get it for Germany. Because I've got one skein and I see Irish girls in it. Some colour. I don't know. It's up there anyway. Um, but anyway, so that's that. And that's in my bag, but my, my lovely, lovely friend Kay Soy Latte um, for Australia. Look, kangaroos! I, I, I have a project in this every month. I love this bag. It sits it down there, just uh, that's my socks, so I'll probably have a pair of socks in it every month. Excuse me, I have a drink. And for most people that know me, this is just a normal one, a rambler. Um, so what else I was that, that, that. Oh, Crocheting squares for my square blanket. So I've just encircled them in the white and add them. Um, so that's Rosa 20, I'm doing that one. Then I decided to copycat Steve for Dramatic Knits. And I think there's another podcaster. Don't quote me on it, but I think there's another po podcast that's doing the same, or has got one started, and it's a just a granny spear, and you just keep adding salt yarn. So, and you don't need like to be 10 grams, 
and things like that. So what I'm doing is, ones that I've already used minis and I've done swap through before and things like that, um, I'm going to put them into this and see how it grows. Oh, that's number four, crochet. Uh, two crochet and three sock. It's blankets. Um, what one's in this? Oh, this is me, I'm trying, trying to catch these ones up. So, I've done that full row, the full top row on this one, because all the ends have been moving in. So, and don't ask me half of these, I don't know. I know that that's the, the birthday candles for no makers. That's my blue, brown blue rag stripe for Croy. <laughs> Can I get Croy here? It's shocking. Um, a lot, of, a lot of these were given to me in swaps. So anyway, so this one's coming up. I think that's eight. So I'm going to row nine with that one. And that's the third blanket I started, that's for clear. There's babies. This is, um, I've done two rows, or one and a, oh, half a row. Half a row in this one. Or two and a half rows. There, I stopped there with the old section. So for these two on, so basically for this point here, And this has got two more in length, two more this way than the other blanket. So these two are about the same in the first blanket that started, yeah, that's about 12 up. I haven't touched that one for a wee, wee while. So they're coming on well. Then my, so that's three of them. Two the crocheted, and then you know my squares. It was the last couple I did. That one oh, was my rainbow one. That was my rainbow socks. I was disappointed with that. That was that for the woolly feather. Love the yarn. It's very rusticy. But the when I washed the socks for the first time, they were kept, they all muted. It was new. Thing with that. That's a pair of socks that went to the Catholic missionary over in in America. So Bunny does the it's like, no, not along, but a charity along. Um, the other pair, I haven't done a square in that. I yeah, actually yet. Yeah. Was the orange pair? I sent two. So I've still put photos up of that. I haven't put photos up of that yet. And um, I'm trying to think what else. Boy. In my bag that I made. This has got very special meaning. Um, if I ever get it finished, I'll need to get a move on. My aunt, who's my mum's younger sister, is celebrating. Well, I celebrated my 50th and she's going to celebrate her 60th in April. She's only 10 years older than me, my aunt. And my mum says to me, Oh, it was just pff, a couple of weeks before she died, actually. She went, you know, you're at Julie's 60 next year, she says, I think I'll need a, um, I want to knit a nice lilac four ply. She says, well, you order me the yarn. I says, well, I'll tell you what, Mum, I says, because it's coming up for Christmas, I've got all this Christmas shopping and everything. I says, well, wait till January, I says, and I'll order in January, I says, there might be some good sales on. Obviously, that didn't happen. Um, so, obviously, that's kind of stuck in my head, and I keep thinking, my mum's youngest sister who came every Friday night for years and years to visit her, you know, she was, she, she's a sweetheart. Um, so, funnily enough, my mum had bought this yarn for herself years ago, up in Marjorie's wool shop in Glasgow, who, if I have to give a, a quality rating for um, service, I would give uh, a zero. Uh, she's a horrible person, I really did not enjoy her shop. She's very, very in your face, very like 
but I know better than you and that she was I don't even know if she's still I think she's still running but she's quite a few people say the same thing about her. Um so this is Wendy Mode Four Ply and excuse me but my eyes have got worse so I've got new glasses. Um it's a it's a 50% pure merino wool and I think it's nylon. Oh no, 50% acrylic. It's in the Wendy mode and it's in a kind of, it's more a kind of obviously, what would you say, mauve, 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 lilac -y mauve colour. And it's an old, old fashioned pattern with old fashioned needles. <laughs> and it's a, a, it's a lady sweater. Uh, she doesn't know I'm knitting it for her and she doesn't watch my podcast and it's a Lister Lee and it's this v-neck and look just shows you how long wool has been out it's <laughs> got a wool light in the back but anyway so I'm knitting that for my auntie Julie for her birthday so I need to move on because that's the only part I've got done so far and I've got plenty of the bags full so and it's a, it is a nice pattern but it's the one they want if you leave it down the middle of the road and you're trying to oh where am I again no the middle of the road and middle of the pattern I tend to try and finish a full pattern so that's that one and then more wool that mum left my sister got some, my aunt, Ju my aunt Julie got some and this is in, oh I've got a fluff on there this is in my, what would you call it? Awesome Granny, bags by Awesome Granny darling and this is again, it's, it's just um, the wool rich four ply and I think it's 50-50 again. Oh no, it's 75, it's basically sock cool. wool, it's 75 wool and 25 polymade or polymide. And I'm just doing a wee plain. These are mum's needles. The old arrow, number 10s. Um, which is uh, three and a quarter millimetre. Nah, it's been a quarter, I think. But it's just an old fashioned, but the rib I've done a bit too much short on them. And this is a Copley. And anybody that's older that watches will be like, oh my god, I remember that! <laughs> I don't even know when it was printed. Does it say? By Lund Humphreys in Brad Bradford in London. Nah, does it say? Oh, 1976. It was a good year, I was 10. <laughs> But anyway, so I'm not in a hurry for mine, but my Aunt Julie's I'd like to get done for her birthday. So what's new? What else is new? Oh, this is my next two knit alongs. This is my for all I hate top socks, it's the next one. I might change my mind, but I don't think so. Is um this is my German wool, it's uh, the pirating wool and it was like seven pounds for 740 for the skein or something. And it's basically rustic sock wool. And it's I love the colours, the greys. And um, that's going to be my March socks for the Brit along Brit the actors not along with the UK sock knitters group. And it's Eddard Stark. It's because it's Sean Bean next month. Um, every month you get a different actor. UK actor, um, so he played Eddard Stark in Game of Thrones, so the sock pattern I've picked it is Eddard, it's a free pattern, um, so that's, and that's will be the first time I'll be using that, so this is getting wound up this week, maybe even today, so I'll put you up there, and then this, now I need to go look at my pattern, sorry, um, and my daughter had to get me a new one of these because my other one kapoofed <laughs> so um oh have I got it in there no oh, it's going to get really quickly but anyway so this is hedgehog fibres and my hedgehog sock yarn there's a hair on it and it's in a hurricane colourway you can see that Um, oh I don't know what it came up went on this doodling Um, it's Sydney at midnight in Sydney or something. Do 
Anyway, um, K sent me this pattern. It's not that one. It's not that one either. Oh, what have I done there? Right, hold on. Ah, midnight in Sydney, I was right. And there should be enough yardage in that. 350 metres. 330 to 380 yards. Aye, 350 metres. And so it's by Meg Gadsby. And K, I don't know if you really see it okay. Um, picture better. So it's a garter stitch. Um, I don't know if you really see that with the glare. But um, it's garter stitch and it's got a border on it. And, and I thought when she gifted me the pattern and she's got it for herself. Uh, she wanted to do a, 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 a knit along with me and, um, and I thought, oh that's perfect for that colourway. Um, so that's going to be my March cast on. She sent me a message on Instagram asking if I wanted to do a February 1st cast on, obviously because, you know, most people knew about mum's passing and on Instagram anyway and my Facebook friends. And um, I never got a message to the other day, and I thought, crap, is that taking a long time to come through? So I asked her about March 1st, because um, I'm terrible at keeping in contact with people, I really am. Uh, it's shocking. Because somebody asked me about a baby card they're going to put up on Instagram, and I've not got back to them yet. It's just a pre printed pattern for uh, King Cole. Was it King Cole, that one? Anyway. Um, so in the eye, um, so that's going to be our March 1st show cast on, um, so that, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that, and then, like, what else, hold on, I check the time in this thing, I should have checked the time before I sat down, Two. Right. That's all. it's amazing how 20, 30 minutes can pass that quickly, so, um, Obviously Bunny's going to be tight for the next while to get a job. But um, my aunt's is a sweetheart, she bought some, you know, patterns that I knit and I don't wear them. Just, <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm a process or a product knitter, but anyway, I just love knitting things that I like and I might never wear them. so. She bought a few things off me and gave me some money, so... And then she gave me birthday money, and I went up and bought a big pot for... You know, me, me, most people have seen that I'm going to be doing a wee bit of dyeing. But it's not a sale, because um, I've never even tried it, so I don't know how good it was going to be. But there's plenty of lovely dyers out there, and I found a new one in Glasgow. So obviously she put up a... I found her yesterday on Instagram, and... She put up a colour me last night and I'd like, I have to buy that. <laughs> I just shouted it out to me. And she's up just on the road a bit in Glasgow and I thought, oh that that is so good because like I would love to get lamy toys and all that, but the shipping for America is just excruciating. So anyway, um, you know last year I had got some stuff for the doodle stop, you know, my gloves and some wee dyes and things like that. Well I decided I hadn't started doing my dyeing yet. Um, so I bought a pack and it's got quarter ounce and there's what, um, two, four, six, eight, nine. Right. Two, four, six, nine colours. I've got syringes. I love my doctor, you know. I've got my paintbrush and I've got my citric acids and I've got my instructions and I've got my new pot. Um, so, 
this is stuff I, I bought this. It's a ghost just obviously. I got this last year. This is the one I got last year. Oh, that's the one Kay sent me. I'm looking forward to doing something special for myself with that one. This is my salt blank that I'm dying to try. Um, and that's the 250 grams. So I might, that might end up being a hat of some sort because it's so soft. Mm. And anyway, so then I went to Netflix and I got three, was it three skeins? Aye. Three skeins of the Bear Superwash Merino Wool Nylon, 462 yards, 100 grams. Um, so I've got three of these, and this, well, obviously four plus, and then I've got the Bear Roving Superwash Wool Nylon. <laughs> I'm going to have a bit of fun dabbling, but I want to do that um, I've ordered a grey because I've not got a grey, so I've got an order coming from Netflix. Hopefully it will come next week. Um, I've got a grey, silver grey colourway coming. Um, I've got three skeins of the double knitting. Because I want to do that campsite show and it's nearly three skeins of double knitting. Um, and then I ordered one of the speckled hawthorn. So you see that next next time I record. Um, try to think. I've not really got a lot of acquisitions. I won this for the knit along for the senior love along. And it's absolutely just my colours. I love it. Thank you very much, Amy. And Amy is Mimers. Mimer 66 on Instagram and I think she's Mimer's on Amy Hudson Valley next podcast. Anyway, so um that was that was delightful. Uh, uh, it came at the right the right time so um and it really cheered me up so I love that. Um I've got mini schemes coming, I've got another pack. I was in the mini scheme swappers group. I, I still am but It's the it's you know it's the cost of the shipping and that and so for me it's a case of stick to the UK or Europe at the moment I'm afraid um, just because of the shipping and I'll, I'll explain to you why so if you go with a certain number, dollar amount it's just ridiculous oh is that hailstones it is you can hear hailstones and. This, uh, I, I, I was so delighted it uh, came through with it costing me extra, but I was expecting to pay. So, leading men fibre arts who adore Steve and Andy in Cali, uh, Dramatic Knits. Um, and he was doing the year in review set. And obviously I can't, couldn't never afford the 10 big skeins. And I thought I have to get the mini skein set. And you know, funnily enough, the only colour I don't particularly like is that and I love orange, but it's because I think it's the bright pink. No, I'm not the best pink person, but um, I love them. Um, I think my favourite is that one. But anyway, so most people have seen it, and the they go, even in fibre arts. And that was another, as I say, that was this, and that spun right round, is that spun right round? I've got one more to come in, I can't remember who it is. But um, uh, that was spun right round. So they have, they don't know that the scheme yet because they have to go. They go into the other blanket first, and then they'll pass their way down to the rest. And this is the the, the culprit. I was in the before Mum passed. I was I had signed up to be in the year long knit along ending. Ending winter. Um, it's the Narnia with what do you call um, Erin Lane, and and I'm um, no such thing, but um, 
for the amount of money I paid, because it ended up costing me extra, because it was $46 and I had forgot about the... So you get a pattern. Don't know if you really see that. You get a pattern. A holiday yarns is, and you get the yarn. The yarn's lovely. You get the holiday yarns, and it's Pinot Noir and Crown Royal, and it's Super Sheep DK, Super Wash Merino wool, and love the colours. It's kind of mustard and purple, and it's bouncy, bouncy. So that I think I'm going to be. The words winding, winding up, skinning up, kicking up, whatever. Um, you get a wee sticker. No, maybe if I lived in America, I would be quite happy to have paid the money. Um, I don't class myself as a really, really good sewer and. Um, I've got to be honest, I, I, I don't mean to be mean, but for the money and money I spent, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, love the bag, love the colours, the back, the lining's lovely, but again, it's it's definitely no, it's, it wasn't worth the 46, 40, 46 dollars. And that obviously that was with shipping, but it cost me. With the time I worked, it cost me forty six quid. So you work that in dollars, and um, tell me if you think it's worth it. I was a bit disappointed, so I had to cancel it anyway with mum passing, um, because obviously the amount of money I'll be getting is like literally nothing. Um, in this country, on job seekers allowance, which is basically what I'll be getting once my <laughs> sick line runs out. Um, it's 73, 72, £73 a week. Okay, you don't pay rent, but you still get your council tax and your rent, your gas and your electricity and you feed yourself. And for people that smoke and drink, I, do, I don't know how to do it because I don't. So before all the money runs out, i uh, getting myself a few things. And then Mother's Day's coming up and I've got a nice wee surprise from the tax man today. So I've already got that spent. That's already gone hedgehog fibre and, and a couple of other things. <laughs> so that's already gone, 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 gone. Um, but I don't see me being able to do swaps, going, going to, doing American swaps and things like that. Um, my spinning, I haven't really done much spinning. I was wanting to do the caffeinated 12 and 12 because I'm doing the 12 sock here. 12 socks in the year, but um, I'm hoping to get at least 10 braids done. Um, but I'll definitely not, I'll not get the 12 and 12 done unless I go ballistic bananas over the next couple of weeks. Um, trying to think, I also got a few wee things there, Mum. Mum was that known? Um, my mum was a. Baby, she loved it, knitting her baby things, and she done the, the wee preemie blankets. So I've said I would finish these three because she, she'd already them started. And then that's a wee hat started. Uh, a wee hat started. And then I found this, and I'm going to keep this for forever and ever, basically. I, I don't think I'll ever have any grandkids, but you never know. And just in case I ever do, this is the last thing, one of the last things Mum ever met. And it's absolutely beautiful. She was such a terrific baby now. And <laughs> look at that. And she loved doing, she did all these wee patterns, you know, and she would do two different patterns and put them together and or just her knitting was just beautiful. So this I'm keeping. My nephew got a couple of cardigans for his wee baby girl who mum never met eh, sadly enough but then there's a <laughs> tribute to Annie <laughs> and I was just more of that lemon 
Anyway, so obviously she this one started. So I need to try, well, either rip it out and start again or try and work out what she was up to. And then I got her this, we got her this mean Claire. We were in Glasgow one of the times. And um, you see, Mum liked to have a few projects in the go. And as I say, that's <laughs> halfway through. <laughs> it's just, that's nearly the end of the what you're up to, Mother. Um, so that and that, and that's just a wee, obviously, rib, but I'm going to try and count rows. And then this wee one and the melody. Um, so I've got the wee book. <laughs> Mother had loads of these wee books. So well, if I ever work out what I'm doing, I'll let you know. So, oh, it's cold now. Um, so, I love that wee car's going it's just got to stay in there. It's going to live in there, that's for the baby blankets. So, aye, uh, the wee hats. And, you know, she didn't like to leave them do it. Neutral, white and pink. And the last thing I've really got to show you is my hands going. This is, oh, I love this. This is my, a chain ply. I'm really quite proud of this one. This was um, leading men fibre art. Oh, it's just me, let's get comfort rolling on in it. And it's um, the New Day colourway. And when Steve and Andy, well, when Steve, I think it was Steve who just opened the shop to start with, wasn't it? Oh well, when Steve and Andy opened the shop first, this was one of the colourways they dyed and it was New Day and it was... It's lovely and squishy. And I don't know, I would say it's like a sport weight, maybe? It's a wee bit heavier, or a heavy fingering. <laughs> but anyway, it's it's lovely. It's New Day, it's called, and it goes for like, But obviously my transitioning, obviously, I, not great, great as the spinners, but for me that's okay and I think I'm going to do a cowl with that one. So I was absolutely delighted with how that turned out. Then, oh I've got another acquisition to show you. Um, and these were, that was the Countess of Blaze, no Countess of Blaze. Fondant fibre, that was our ocean colourway, swims with dolphins or something like that. I love how that turned out. And that's just, I think that was just a three ply or a two ply. I'm not sure now. And that was a two or three ply. And that's so soft as can still come out. And that was firework night for Owl About Yarn. Is it Owl About Yarn? Jenna, is it Jenna? Jenny? Anyway, so that's day two. Then I managed to get four. I think I get five actually. I can't even remember. But anyway, that was remember the big, huge bag of grey. Um, so I'm hoping to do a cardigan or a. I'm, I'm hoping to do a cardigan with that one. I don't know how much yardage again I've got, but quite a bit. And it goes between, I think, a fi fingering to a heavy DK. So that, I'm quite pleased with that. And then my last acquisition that I nearly forgot about is my club that I'm are keeping because it works out £21 a month and that's with shipping for, can't, uh, for the US for me and I love Heather Highland Handmade and I've seen um, Emily for Fibre Town, she's already done hers. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And I love that you get a wee, like, wee lavender sachet with it. And I can't wait to see what next month is. But I don't know if I'm going to spin them up as they come in. Or wait and collect them. Um, I don't have a great big fibre stash. Um, but, oh, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm not, as I say, I'm not a pink person. But I don't mind. Uh, it's so lovely. And what is this? It's pitch pine top, it's feltable, so obviously you wouldn't need to watch what you're doing. And it's 80% merino, 20% 
dyed black merino and it's in uh, Aurora Australia Australia's or whatever but anyway and it's oh mm -hmm. oh can you wait next see what this month's February's is so anyway that I'm keeping for the year um I would spend more on a lot of rubbish and I just need to remember it come, it come, it comes off at the 18th 18 to the one, so as long as I've got that, and I see if a couple of bowls of less juice, and I'm not buying a lot more yarn because obviously, on a budget. But you know what? It's been lovely to sit and talk to you again. Um, I've got, I can't believe we've got 290, 92 subscribers on you. I mean, I've not got very many in the Ravelry group. We have a Ravelry, a Ravelry group. It's not very busy, but there's hundreds of Ravelry groups out there. There's hundreds of groups doing giveaways and prizes, and I'm afraid that it's definitely not me this year. Um, I did win something, as far as I know, for two, two tangled skeins, and it was a three bags I won. Um, I haven't heard anything fair, but... She asked me to pick a thing, but I, I wasn't, obviously, with mum passing, I wasn't in the mood for picking anything. So I basically, she surprised me, so. But, um, oh, I've got a couple of project bags coming. I've got a triangle one, I've always wanted a pyramid. But it's a UK. And the wee, I, I was waiting to see, um, oh, and I got two patterns. I've got the Loki, Hohe Locatelli. Three colour cashmere cowl, it's all, and I get Mina Phillips. Is it Mina Phillips? Uh, X part, that next part. Um, I got her Highlands Peak, and I've got the yarn in for that. So because I had ripped it, and that's all I, 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 I was doing. So uh, I've got plenty to be good on me, um, but I, it's, I think we're quite here. I don't know where I'm, I don't know where I'm, where I'm going, or what I'm going to do, or whether I'm going to be moving, or whether I want to just stay here because it's the thought of moving and uh, the cost of moving. And oh, but I've got a three-bedroom house and it's just me and oh, you see, life begins at forty or fifty, whatever. But I don't know. But anyway, cheers. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. You can understand what I'm saying. Um, when I dabble with my dyes, I'll take a picture of my new pot. I got it up at TG Hughes in Glasgow. Um, maybe when I'm up this week, I'm getting up with my daughter. She's going to see me getting a nose job. Um, uh, aye, aye, aye. I'm going to get another pot. That'll give me two. As I say, I don't see me uh, starting up a shop or anything like that. Um, one, the cost, and two, the time. Uh, that would take a bit of a minute and another minute. Um, I never seem to get hundreds done. And I will finish my daughter's Hedo Food Day. Um, I'll try and get her to put it on and get a picture of it, turned it beautiful. Well, I think that's me. I think that's me enough waffling for the... The day I think that must be nearly an hour, and uh, an hour of me is enough. <laughs> um, so thank you for coming back. Thanks to anybody that's new. Uh, just thanks for watching. Um, there's loads and loads of new podcasts out there. Some I can take to, and some I, 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 I can And some of the ones that are dead dead popular with everybody, I just can't get into. And so I uh, have got. I've got my certain favourites, but um, the, one of the new ones is definitely, uh, definitely go have, have a look, and that's it, the Grocery Girls and uh, Mrs Brown's Bags, is the, uh, one of the Sisters Etsy shop. They were, they're just brilliant, and the other one, I would say, they did have three and now are doing two, is the uh, Naughty Nitwits, Leslie and Michelle. Just go watch them. As I say, I've got my ultimate favourites that I never miss, and when I miss, when they don't episode a week, I'm like, oh, oh, where did they go? And then I see them and I'm like, oh, thank God! 
<laughs> I'm so sad. I would love to go in retreats and all that, but I spend all my money whenever I get it in. So, unless I meet a very rich, rich man that loves knitting in the near future, I can't see me going anywhere. But hopefully I'll get to Rhinebeck before I'm 60. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm waffling, I'm waffling, waffling. Oh, quickly before I go, get my thrones. Dire wolf! <laughs> Starks. Oh, I want to be a Stark. Winter is coming. Well, spring is coming now. Bye! <laughs>